We're Mike, Taylor, Ziggy, and Ditto, and welcome back to our Vlogmas series. Today started out with a new breakfast spot and the best smoothie bowl I think I've ever had. <laughs> mm. This is so good. It's like that thing I like at um, Delight, Healthy Ego. We finally went to the pharmacy to get my bug bites taken care of. So I got the topical cream and essentially Claritin. <laughs> so I'm definitely loading up on that so I can finally feel some relief. Pharmacy here is really nice. The, guy, the main pharmacist, he does speak English. So if you don't speak Spanish, he can help you out. You just tell them what's wrong with you and then they give you your medicine. So it's great. And if you have a prescription from the United States, either you can bring in that prescription to get advice on what's the same thing here, or you can tell him what you normally, like the symptoms and what normally treatment you get. And then you can get that. So Mike brought in his prescription that he takes and the pharmacist was able to fill it. If it's for like a medication uh, that you would, oh, Ziggy just ran into the window. If it's a medication that you need a doctor's prescription for in the States, you likely still need a prescription here, but the pharmacist can write the prescription and fill it for you. So you don't need to go to a doctor. Um, they'll tell you if you need to go to a doctor if it's something specific, but I already feel better with this cream. Oh, thank God. Take my pill. All right. By the way, if you're wondering why Mike isn't in as much footage, it's because we're in a pretty hot area called Bahia in Uvita. And so he's basically naked all the time. <laughs> Get serious and competitive. We're now playing snakes and ladders. Oh, hey, is that real? Yes. Dang, 28 for the win. Okay, this piece of my hair faded a lot um, after swimming in the ocean. So I'm gonna touch it up and make it a darker blue. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> It is Super Blue by Ex Mondo. And it really is Super Blue. Okay, now I wait 20 minutes. I'm gonna clean my hands. This is how much they dyed the gloves. <laughs> I'm glad I wore them this time. While I was waiting for my hair to dry, these birds took over our entire yard. Every day they come through and eat all of the fruit on this tree. It's funny because they look like they shouldn't be able to fly as easily as they do, but they're really interesting to watch. Siggy and Ditto aren't too big of fans though. They're pretty smart and get out of the way quickly before I enter the yard. I wanted to do some bird watching, so I tried to be as still as possible, but you can see I basically walk around aimlessly like a Sims character that doesn't have direction. I did find one piece of fruit that they hadn't eaten yet. Oh, wow. Here's, here's what those birds are eating. It tastes like a it tastes like a very very mild grapefruit. It's a fruit. No, it just dropped. We didn't finish this one up. That got me in the mood for more fruit, so I decided to mangle a mango. And I say mangle because. I really have never been able to master cutting a mango. I watched my cousin cut one, like kind of like avocado style like this, where you take the pit out, and it just did not work for me. Every single way that I try and copy people on, it fails. So if you have a mango cutting recommendation or a YouTube video, please drop it in the comments because I absolutely need help. After me struggling with this mango for way too long, it started to rain and it rained hard. It was the best rain that we've had since we've been at Costa Rica and the temperatures dropped significantly and we slept so well. 
Here's how it progressed throughout the night. Hey, remember when you guys were in a hoarder house? And now we give you our blankets and you're in Costa Rica watching TV on the couch. You made it. Join us tomorrow as we head to our next Airbnb and watch the World Cup final. Jude and Cora, I hope you like that the snowman is back.